have the great honor to welcome to Green Bay Public School, Jim Parks. Jim Parks is an Army veterinarian. He served in the Second World War with the Royal Winnipeg Rifles and took part in the invasion of Normandy in 1944. Well, they're all young men, young soldiers, and uh, they could have been, you look at them, they could have been an uncle of yours if they were alive today or, you know, just, just look at the way they were. They all had families. Some of them didn't make it. They, uh, they were buried over in uh, cemeteries over in Normandy, some place in Europe. Uh, a lot of them got back. Some got hurt and they, they, they survived. And they, uh, they may some had some parts of the body that not working so well, but they, they did survive. And I was so amazed at Canada. I felt so proud that word Canada going inside of your battle dress. And, uh, like I thought of the Rocky Mountains, and I thought of the polar bears, I thought of everything, but I was so proud to have that Canada badge on. We were up the game, they always put the best troops against the Canadians, always. They put the SS, which are the Nazi people, they put, and the paratroopers are most highly trained, they always put them against the Canadians, always. You were on Juneau Beach, you landed on Juneau Beach on D-Day. This is a story that you've been telling. Right for a number of years now. Tell me about the actual moment of when you landed. We're landing on the beach here to put our mortars into action so you need less stuff. So I unhooked mine and I, I started to swim and it drifted me to the left and pushed me to, to the side. Then I got sights like by either a wave or one of the boats coming in and it pushed me into the water. Who do you think about on Remembrance Day? The attack went in the next day and uh, after the attack, you always find out. Uh, they were listed as killed in action. But little Izzy, you know, it's nice, kind of nice. One thing I can say to the kids today is, on, I'll ask them to say, on Remembrance Day, just think of little Izzy and uh, pop it in and maybe say a little prayer for them. To you. Remembrance Day this year. Tell me what that means to you. What it means to me? Yeah. When it hits me? Well, I, that's, you get caught up in all the, uh, all the cel not cel I guess you call it celebrations because it's a celebrate the freedom that we've uh, fought for. Fought for, yeah. Remembrance Day means to me to remember all the soldiers that died, even the ones that are still living. But it just is a good way to. It's a relaxing day, kind of, and being respectful to the soldiers that died and that are still living. I think it brings Remembrance Day to life for them. They're told about it, they're taught about it, they see things. But when somebody like Jim Parks can speak to children, can speak to students, it becomes real. Can you imagine going through everything what, that they went through and telling it again? Because it's a story of heartbreak and a story of incredible courage at the same time. So I think that it, it, it probably helps them tell the story. So many veterans couldn't tell their story for years. It was too painful. How can you not get emotional with that kind of a sacrifice that was made for our country and, and all of the lives lost? You know, the more we recount it, the more students like the ones here will remember and be able to talk about and tell their family they remember a day when this veteran named Jim Parks came and spoke to their school. Well, the main thing that stood out for me was when he talked about how his friends and how some of them didn't make it, but he still remembers some and he's brave to not cry during the presentation. I think they're going to go home tonight and share what they learned with their families. It's going to take on a lot more meaning. I think this will be something for sure that they will remember for the rest of their lives. When they're 40, 50 years old and they think back, it, this, this will be uh, an afternoon that they will remember forever.